Shalom, this is Rabbi Yehuda Levin. Recently in Lakewood, New Jersey, strangely enough, somebody is spending money to put out signs in Lakewood, we are opposed against hate. The first question is, what hate are they talking about? Are they talking about the hate that Rise Up Ocean County or other people have had towards the Jewish community because having too many kids or they're moving into the wrong neighborhoods or whatever else it is? Is that the hate that they're opposed to? I don't think so because that problem has been existing now for a few years. So the hate that they've been talking about is obviously a different kind of hate. Now, what happened at, at, around that time in June when the signs started to go up? Could it be that I and a handful of people went out and protested against Pride Night at Blue Claw Stadium uh, that is perverting our children and our youth and are the values of the community? Could it be that we made a protest outside the youth, the public library and the youth section that had a month of pride with uh, uh, terrible things being books lists and programs for to, to brainwash our kids? So the goody, goody, goody two shows from Lakewood who are interested in getting along or maybe getting more money from the politicians or whatever it is, decided that we're against hate. Blanket statements, very superficial. In other words, let me ask you a question. Whoever put up those signs, I don't know if it had anything to do with Rabbi Aaron Cutler or not. I wish he would tell us if it did or if he knows who did it or any of the, 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 the Lakewood Jewish activists who put up these signs. I'm wondering who did it. Why aren't they proud to put their names on it? But let me ask you a question. If God forbid somebody beat up your mother, would you hate that person? If somebody raped a child of yours, would you hate that person? Or, I mean, the Christians would say, we got to love and we got to forgive. And we got to turn the other cheek. But King David said, God is a God of vengeance. Kel Nekomas Hashem. It says, those who love God hate, abominate, loathe evil. So I don't hate a person who's a homosexual who has a problem with an adulterer. But I hate the activity that he or she is doing, the breaking up the families, the perversion, the introducing other people into the lifestyle. So just to mindlessly say we're against hate, to try to curry favor with the Asbury Park press or the goodies, the Gentiles who, who are upset with us or the irreligious Jews who are upset with us because they think like ultra-liberal Gentiles, this is not going to accomplish anything, and I want to disassociate. There's a place for everything. There's a place for all kinds. There's a time and a place for everything. And sometimes you have to hate. Not, could we hate Hitler? Could we hate Stalin? Could we hate Mao? So what is this we're supposed to hate? It's really a stupidity. That's what I think. What do you think? I know you can have all kinds of comments, hateful comments against me. So obviously, obviously you guys, some of you, many of you, too many thousands, a pro hate for different reasons than I am. I only hate the evil, the act, and the perpetrators who are trying to pervert us.